Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Deluxe M800 Pro gaming mouse. This is the upgraded version with the 3395 sensor. This is the first Deluxe mouse I've ever touched directly. I have a modified or super heavily modified shell of a mouse that does use a Deluxe PCB and I haven't had any problems with this bad boy. This mouse for $50 or less, I feel like it's a slightly better version of the original Razer Viper. And we all know how expensive of the Viper V2 is and I think that this mouse gets close enough where I feel like this is a great alternative to recommend to the Viper V2 without spending an arm and a leg and for some reason I play way better on this deluxe mouse than I do my original Razer Viper and even to some extent the Viper V2 Pro from my memory of when I used that mouse a little bit uh, over six months ago. But basically, this mouse, I think the main kicker for me is the mouse switches that they use. They use Huanu Blue Shell Pink Dot mouse switches, and this is like a really nice feeling spammable mouse switch. And I think that the thumb buttons just protrude out a little bit better than they do on the Razer Viper series of mice, and it just feels nicer in the hand, like how pronounced they are from the sides. Now, the scroll wheel is really good, nice and smooth as well. Pretty tactile, not the most tactile, like the Razer one is definitely a little harder to press and this one is more spammable. I, I wouldn't call it mushy, I would just call it like not as crispy as something else, maybe like in comparison to a Pulsar mouse. This one just feels a lot more crispy. This is the Pulsar X2, but this mouse also costs a little bit uh, less than double of what this mouse costs too. So I would expect there to be a minor amount of build quality trade-offs, but not necessarily in terms of like the actual like squeeze in the mouse, creaking stuff like that because overall it's built pretty rock solid like I don't have any issues outside of like what I would consider normal use just gripping the mouse and using it the scroll wheel I do wish was slightly more tactile on button press but it isn't something that does interrupt me in game USB type C connection a place to put your dongle on the bottom of your mouse which is quite nice 2.4 gigahertz connection and two Bluetooth connections. PTFE feet, no issues there. These work very well. No real need to replace the PTFE feet. And in terms of the weight, you're weighing right around 72 and a half grams. Let's put the original Razer Viper on the scale. This one is weighing in at 78 grams. I think that's because I have the dongle on the inside of this bad boy. And now without the dongle and the cover, it's gonna drop down to about 76 grams. So this mouse manages to be lighter, have better side buttons, have have better main clicks than the Razer Viper V1 that's still on sale today for $70, okay? Where this mouse can be had for between $45 to $50, I think that this one is definitely gonna be the play. Bluetooth functionality that the Razer Viper straight up just does not have, even though this has like a wireless charger and all that, potentially if you wanna spend more money, but it's got micro USB, not USB type C, and this one has very long battery life. It's been a reliable connection with the wireless dongle. I really don't have any complaints. Again, under $50 more or less, under or at $50, you have a great mouse, latest sensor, 3395, and Huano Blue Shell Pink Dot switches that are just ultra light and spammable. I play really well on this mouse. I don't really have anything much else bad to say about it, other than the fact that this is just like a slightly better Razer Viper V1. Obviously, this is not gonna be as good as the Razer Viper V2. I do prefer that mouse to this one, but that mouse is also gonna cost you basically three times as much since that mouse is, you know, $150. But yeah, guys, I think that Deluxe did a really good job on the M800 Pro with the upgrades that they made with those improved switches and the improved sensor. My sensors these days are really good anyway, so like it's not like it makes a massive difference in comparison to like any other mouse with a 3370 for example, but with the combination of those better mouse switches and the further protruding mouse switches to a Razer Viper V1, it's a way easier recommendation in today's times because I do find it a little bit hard to recommend a Viper V1, like you're gonna get reliable signal and whatnot from Razer and you got the optical clicks, but I never really thought that the optical clicks were like that great. They're not that easy to spam, especially in comparison to some of the newer options that we have available today. I'm gonna have this mouse link in the description below, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.